Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about these chocolate covered strawberry press on nails available in my Etsy shop, so let's jump right in. I started out by just painting a bit of red polish in the nail bed area off camera, and then I'm going in with my chocolate colors of choice. If you watched my previous video, you might have seen something like these nails on my left hand, but I decided to try making these again because I didn't really like how they turned out the first time. I wanted there to be less strawberry and more chocolate, and I also wanted to change up some of the toppings. I did two coats of polish on every nail except for the milk chocolate nail, which was the second one that I did, and I also only did one coat of red. You might have also noticed that these nails were not buffed or anything before I started painting. I didn't really feel the need to do that because I'm going to be wearing them. These were not going to be sold, but if you are going to be wearing them and you want them to last or if you're selling them, make sure that you buff them and prime them. Here I'm painting some white chocolate drizzle on this milk chocolate strawberry nail <laughs> this is really weird to say i'm using my nails by dev hello cute liner brush i'm always using this brush if you see me hand painting i'm just gonna paint some lines down the nail and this is also the nail that's gonna have the pink sprinkles on it Now I'm doing the same thing with pink chocolate drizzle on this white chocolate nail. I really enjoyed painting these, I don't know why. Honestly, this is probably going to be the shortest video on my channel. I'm like thinking about all the other nails I want to do and there's just no way I could make it 8 minutes. This was just really fast, I only did one hand, um, so yeah, if you like short videos, Sorry, I mean, you can skip or whatever if you want to see your favorite part in my other videos, but I just don't do that because my nails aren't short. My designs are not short. Let me stop. But for real, okay, so let me tell y'all my next video though, it's going to be really cool because I'm going to do some aquarium nails with like love potion. So y'all really need to stay tuned for that. So this nail is chocolate covered with heart sprinkles. Who doesn't love sprinkles? These are from Nail Heaven Supply Store. This is the same glitter that I used in my last video as well. I forgot to do it the same way that I did in my last video with the pink nail, which is securing the glitter in uncured gel, but I just used top coat to put them on. But I do recommend that if you're going to be um, encapsulating like lots of glitter like this on a press on nail try to do it in uncured gel and you'll probably have better top coating experience like you won't have to top coat as much and the pieces will be a little bit flatter in the nail like they'll sink into the gel <laughs> This nail is really simple. I just put some clear holographic glitter on top. I mixed it with top coat so that I could paint it on. And it looks really, really pretty when it's top coated. It's hard to capture it on camera, but if you know, you know. For the sprinkles, I'm mixing white and pink sculpture gel because I really wanted a nice little baby pink. So I mixed that together and then I'm going to roll it into a snake and cure that in the lamp for a full 30 seconds to make sure that it's hard. I didn't notice my hand was in the way this entire time until I was editing, but the sprinkles were flying everywhere while I was cutting them, so that's how I had to do it. So now I'm placing them on and I'm using my McCart rhinestone gel. It took me a while to figure out what other design I could do for the strawberry, but Google is always your friend when it comes to food. So I just hit up 
my good friend Google and I saw some sprinkles and I was like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. And now it's bling time. So today I am using glitz accessories in such as condensed glue gel. I think that's what it's called. It's like their stone gel. And the way you use it is you apply it to whatever area or you can apply it to the whole nail and then you apply top coat. They recommend that they use their top coat, but I'm not about to buy that if it's not HEMA free. Even though the gel is not HEMA free, but that doesn't really matter. So that's what I did. I applied top coat after I applied the gel. And then I'm going to stick on these stones. These stones are not Swarovski. Why do I say Swarovski? <laughs> They're not Swarovski. But they are made of glass. So um, it's kind of like you get that essence of Swarovski but not really because there's not as many cuts but I still think they're really pretty Here I'm painting the little seeds on the strawberries and I'm using a really old nail art brush that has like cured gel on it and this is actually perfect for painting the seeds because it gives me that shape that I like. So I'm just going to dot them in rows in the red area of the nail. Top coat time! <laughs> I have to make sure I get in all those crevices, you know, don't want the stones falling off, gotta secure them, get all in between the sprinkles, you know, you know. Here they are ready to eat. I love these so much and I'm so glad that I gave them another shot. Like I said, these are available in my Etsy shop. The link will be down below and they're 15% off through February 4th as well as the press-ons from my last video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload another video next Thursday. Bye-bye!